working with factorials, I'm going to do 8 factorial over 4 factorial. The temptation here is clearly to make this 2 factorial because 4 goes into 8 and you just want to do that. And let's look if that's possible. So 8 factorial means 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 4 factorial means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Notice 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is the same on the top and bottom. So I'm going to cancel those. So I'm left with 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. So now I can do the arithmetic. This is 56 times 30. So 56 times 30, I've got a 0 hanging off. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 5 is 15, 16. So I have 1680, barring any arithmetical errors. The other way to do this, a little bit shorter in space, is to recognize that because this is going to be the same as this, we can actually leave the 4 factorial. So I can stretch this out 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial, which means do all this, oh yeah, and so on, over 4 factorial. Now I told you you couldn't cancel in here. That's because notice there's actually more going on. 4 factorial is the exact same thing as 4 factorial. This one I can cancel. So, and you can see how these are actually the same. So I have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, and to total 1680. This is very helpful when we get to things like 99 factorial over 97 factorial. I do not want to have to write out 99 factorial but I can write 99 times 98, how about we write it right, times 97 factorial over 97 factorial, and then those guys cancel. I'm going with different colors here, so I'm going to stick with the different color thing. So I have 99 times 98. And did I do the arithmetic prior to this? No. So, although if I were to multiply this out, I would do 100 minus 1 times 100 minus 2 and FOIL that. Minus 100 minus 200 plus 2. So that's 10,000 minus 100 minus 200, which is 9,700. Does that make sense? I think I need a zero in here. There you go. 9,072. And that's how we work with factorials.